grace and peace to you, and welcome to Trusting God at All Times, a daily devotion. I'm Rev. Joe Kalis, the pastor at Peakland United Methodist Church in Lynchburg, Virginia. All Saints Day is approaching. This is the day that the church honors the lives of those folks who have died. Some saints have their own special day. St. Patrick, who shared the Christian faith in Ireland, has March 17th as his special day. St. Valentine's Day, February 14th, actually does honor a real person, or possibly a couple of people, both named Valentine for his work or their Christian work. St. Nicholas Day is not Christmas, but Tuesday, December 6th. All Saints Day is for us to honor all of the believers who've died. I am remembering an important saint in my life, Rev. Dr. Kirk Mariner, who was the senior pastor of Mount Olivet in the 1980s and 1990s. I was a seminary intern for two years at Mount Olivet and worked with Kirk there. In 1997, he was appointed to be the pastor of Williamsburg United Methodist Church, and I was appointed with him as the associate pastor of the church. And we worked together for five years at Williamsburg. Kirk was an indifferent church administrator. He would proudly admit that. Most everything good that I learned about leading a church, I learned from other people, not Kirk. Kirk was a gifted preacher and a dedicated historian, writing several books about his people on the Eastern Shore. Kirk was also a talented musician, which was not a gift he could impart to me. Kirk played piano beautifully, regularly leading the congregations in hymns. I have a copy of a CD he published, Church Basement Songs, which included the hits, Every Church Will Get Some Folks to Heaven, But the Baptists Have Chartered a Bus, and also Nobody Drinks Till the Bishop is Gone. I'm not making up those titles. Those songs are real and they are hilarious. Most everything good that I learned about worship, I learned from Kirk. Whether we had formal worship in the sanctuary or contemporary worship in the fellowship hall, Kirk taught me that great worship was accessible to all folks, newcomers and longtime worshipers alike. From the moment folks sat down in worship to the time folks left, Kirk taught me to do what we could to make all folks feel welcome and included. Kirk Mariner died five years ago in 2017, but his impact and his worship priorities live on in me and now here at Peakland. This All Saints Day, I say thanks be to God for Kirk Mariner. This All Saints Day, I'm remembering Kirk Mariner. Who are the saints that have impacted your life? Give thanks to God for them. I have heard that each church has its heaven. But I know that God's heaven is one. And that people from all different churches there assemble when their time is done. Yes, in heaven we'll greet one another, Roman Catholic and Lutheran too. For the Greek Orthodox is our brother, and in heaven I expect to see the Jew. Yes, traveling the highway to heaven are many and not just us. Every church will get some folk to heaven, but only Baptists have chartered a bus. They tell me that most Presbyterians 
know already if they're going or not. And to judge from the rear bumper stickers, Pentecostals must be sending a lot. There'll be a full representative smattering of each church that has any worth. A real ecumenical gathering in heaven, though they never could on earth. For the Lord looketh not on the difference, but our Lord loveth all the whole lot. Take the Latter day Saints, for example. Does God care if they're reorganized or not? The disciples of Christ and the Coptic, the Salvation Army and Friend, the Assemblies of God and the Brethren, all get one reward in the end. Episcopalians will be represented. Nazarenes are sure to be there. Look to find UCC, LCA, AME, Unitarians, though they claim they don't care. The Methodist will have a committee or two there. Schwankfelders will, I suspect, get a few there. Though not everyone rates to proceed through the gates, there'll be more, I feel sure, than just me and just you there. But when those pearly gates loom up before us, be careful, don't start a fuss. Kindly just step aside for the good folk who ride as the Baptist wolf. With patience and polish, we laugh at each joke, hanging on each single word that is spoke, clutching our punch cups and asking for more, maneuvering him constantly nearer the door. For nobody drinks till the bishop is gone. We only have punch, eat peanuts, and yawn, hoping he won't hang around until dawn. Nobody drinks till the bishop is gone. Trading him off to each other in turn, listening as if we were eager to learn, planning that time that will soon come about when we'll turn him around and we'll show the man out. For nobody drinks till the bishop is gone. We only have punch, eat peanuts and yawn, hoping he won't hang around until dawn. Nobody drinks till the bishop is gone.
Freed from Episcopal presence at last The punch bowl removed, now the champagne flows fast Why be ashamed that we sent him on home? Bishops we know through their drinking alone Nobody drinks till the bishop is gone We only have punch, eat peanuts and yawn Hoping he won't hang around until dawn Nobody drinks till the bishop is gone